Hey yo, what's going on everybody, it's Tyler Aries, aka Ty Killington, uh, yeah man, happy 4th of July to all my Americanos, what's going on everybody, hell yeah, to everybody else, happy Wednesday, alright, cool, hell <laughs> yeah, so this video, we're going to be talking about all of the 4th of July content that you can pick up if you are a proud, patriotic, true American, or if you just want to, you know, have some awesome red, white, and blue stuff and some cool shit like that, so... <laughs> First off, we got the Liberator, which is a monster truck. It is a Pegasus vehicle. This was uh, previously made available not too long ago, a few months ago, which is pretty cool. Uh, it was uh, made available alongside some other vehicles, a couple of motorcycles. So, And there's some good discounts on it right now, so definitely pick that up. Next up, we have the Western Motorcycle Company Sovereign. It's a pretty cool motorcycle. It's got the patriotic theme to it, the... The stars and stripes of the American flag. It's actually a really nice bike. It sounds good. It rides really fun. It's really cool. This is the same kind of concept as the police bike, but with the American livery on there. Next up, we have this is one of my favorites right here. This is the musket. All right, I love the musket. It's got a really cool uh, description with it. Armed with nothing but muskets and a superiority complex, the Brits took over half the world. On the gun that built an empire, part of the Independence Day special. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. We have a lot of fun with the musket. It's a single shot. It's pretty powerful though, so that's pretty fun. Now we have the firework launcher. Look at this. Much more expensive than the musket. But yeah, so the fireworks are now available. Not all the fireworks, just the launcher that I know of anyways. If uh, we can get the other fireworks, let me know. It's pretty cool. I miss those. Those were fun. But yeah, so these are really cool. We had a blast with these last night. We had a good time. Could, you know, have some cool uh, fireworks shows in the game. Next up, we have uh, some vehicle upgrades. which is really, really cool. There is the Star Spangled Banner horn, okay? Now, the Star Spangled Banner, if you guys don't know, was uh, a song that was composed by Francis Key Scott, I believe is what his name was, in the War of 1812, when the Americans were, for the second time, whooping that ass, okay? Uh, but, yeah, so, anyways, I know, I know, they burned Washington. That's the only thing you guys did. We kicked your ass in every single other battle, okay? Anyways, though, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love you guys out there. You got the Patriot Tire Smoke, which is really cool. Definitely check that out. Uh, I love that. I have this on several of my vehicles. It's really, really fun. Uh, it's different. You know what I mean? You can When you do a burnout, you'll have red, white, and blue tire smoke. That is really, really cool. I love that. That's, that's super awesome. Uh, that along with your Patriotic Automobile. I got the Dukes. Don't sleep on the Dukes. Remember, it's got the, uh, the American flag that you can put on the roof, which is pretty cool. So I love that tire smoke. You can go into the parachute bags, and now you can buy the American uh, parachute bag. That's not part of the Independence Day thing. It's just already there, but it makes your outfits look, look really cool. And But the, the cool thing is, is that you can put uh, red, white, and blue smoke. So as you open your parachute and you're gliding down, you can hold X or I believe A for Xbox or whatever it is for PC, and you will have a Patriot smoke trail. Pair that up with the U.S. shoot bag, as you see right here. That'll be my primary and my reserve. Uh, it's really, really fun. It's really cool. So you have the red, white, and blue with the actual smoke. So you can have some trails coming down in uh, as you land. And that's awesome. I like that. Totally, totally patriotic. I mean, come on. Come on, dude. So that's really fun. Definitely get that on there. And uh, you can have some really cool videos, really cool snapmatics with that. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't love 4th of July? It's just a good time. I mean, it's just a good time. So we have that right there. You have a few other things that we'll talk about here, which, uh, remember, guys, spend wisely okay there's a dlc coming out i know a lot of people are flush with cash uh with these recent bonus events but spend your money wisely okay there is um you know you can get lost and spend a lot of money on this stuff so we have a whole bunch of cool clothes in here here are some of the outfits you can go you can go to the, any any one of these uh, clothing stores those are just the stock outfits and there's a bunch of t-shirts and things like that which are really cool too i may have missed a few things but i mean you get the gist of it uh the the shirts are awesome i love the independence day and the american shirts that's some really cool stuff and you know it's something that you could wear year round it doesn't matter if it's fourth of july or not got some pants to go along with it to make your outfit as gaudy and tacky as possible i mean come on got some of the tail coats right here which are always add a nice little flair to it. You can mix match some, uh, a few shirts with that as well, which is pretty nice. Got a couple of pairs of sunglasses, which are actually pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Got some hats to go along with it. Beanie, some top hats. I mean, this looks so ridiculous. I love it. It's good times. It's good times to be an American. 
Next up is uh, we have some of the Mark II liveries with the guns. Now, this is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. This is something that was uh, added that was much newer uh, because this DLC that came out was much you know newer later on in the game. So that's really, really cool that you can have. So almost, actually, yeah, all of your Mark II guns now have a patriotic theme livery. 57000 Pretty expensive. It is quite expensive to be patriotic, all right? Patriotism is not cheap. So keep that in mind. You got the car right here. We got the, the shotgun with the explosive rounds. I mean, they look really good. You can do a lot of cool stuff with this. The customization is nice. It's almost like customizing a car. You can get stuck inside your MOC customizing your vehicles for quite some time. Everyone's showing off their guns and stuff like that. You got the marksman rifle. That looks really nice on that as well. You can change up the different liveries the different uh, or the different paints and things like that. The tints and stuff that go with it. So it's like the guns all have secondary colors. I mean, it's really cool. I like that. So you can do a lot with it. You can customize it. You know, even though it's the same livery, uh, the patriotic theme, you can still kind of add your own you know, style to it and flair to it with the different types of uh, customization that you can do with the gun in terms of how it looks and the color. So I really, really do appreciate that. That's awesome. I mean, I thought that the, the cars were fun customizing. I didn't know that I can get lost inside my MOC for an hour or two customizing one weapon. Got the heavy machine or the combat uh, MG right there. It looks really good on that. Put some green with it. I like that. It looks really, really nice. Uh, it has a definite Rambo appeal to it right there. I mean, but like I said, guys, 57000 for one livery. That is expensive, okay? So please spend your money wisely. There is a DLC coming out. I can't stress that enough. But I, I know people want to have fun. We're all flush with cash right now. Uh, we got the sniper rifle right here. Got the explosive rounds on it. Um, but yeah, so of course you have to have the explosive rounds on the sniper rifle with the patriotic livery. I mean, come on, America goes boom, right? So that's cool. Good stuff with that. Now on the outside of your MOC, the trailer, you can customize as well. You've got four different liveries. You have the stars and stripes, the Eagle claw, the Eagle claw with the flag and the fighting freedom. All right. Those all look really, really nice. And you're rolling down the streets of Los Santos with a giant American flag on your MOC. People will get out of the way. Hopefully. Inside your barbershop, this is where you can have your face paint and your haircuts. Um, so if you go to the hairstyle, I believe there's just the one. It's the mullet. So, oh God, so embarrassing, the mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. Hell yeah. But so, yeah, that's that's fun. You can do that. There are a bunch of cool masks. Uh, they're basically all the animal ones, starting with the black wolf going all the way on down to uh i believe the the brown bear the black bear or something like that uh so yeah oh yeah the brown bear so not bad really cool stuff right there that's pretty much everything there may be a few uh items of clothing i i overlooked but yeah you get the gist of it check it out really cool stuff this is fun i'm very glad that rockstar does this and for the the rest of everybody out there that's not american bear with this all right this is a great time it's really big for us so I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for putting up with our 4th of July on GTA Online. So you guys have a good one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for the Illust Reels content in the game. I mean, smash that like button and stay dangerous. Peace. See you in the next one.